Here's Lipsy left all alone. Hey, not even guarding him. Masood, four fouls. Lipsy in the lane, no. And it's going to stay Iowa State basketball. Well, Lipsy's only taken five threes in conference play, 12 on the season. So it's not what he wants to do, and, and clearly game plan for that. Now Lipsy triggers the inbounds. Coming up on three minutes to go. Here's Oshuni going right at Masood. And off the left. Flex on him, big man. It's a tough matchup for Masood with the size, especially when you could spin and go left to your left hand. The follow by Johnson, and he's in double digits. Thirty-eight combined for Marquise Noel and Keontae Johnson. Oh. And a shooting getting the student section fired up. Well, they're riding him. You know, he hits two free throws earlier on that bad foul by Kansas State. Be curious to see how he does here, but they're they're riding him and nobody's guarding Lipsy. And they're trying to, you know, sort of help down on, on Oshuni. -E. But the window, the passing window that Lipsy has with no one on him. Nice little touch on that one. Shun knocked down the last two free throws and he misses that one. Playing in his 130th career game. And one for two. A dozen for Oshuni. And the lead is five for TJ Altelberger Cyclones. Noel, you can't leave him open. And it's good design. Three 20-point, 10 assist games this season. He's one dime away from another one. And they're putting Tomlin, Jerome Tang, interesting over the last few possessions, putting Tomlin on Lipsy. Why do you think he's doing that? I, because I think he's using him as a helper, and then you can switch onto Oshuni -E like he just did there. Daring Lipsy to shoot the ball. Yeah, you don't have to worry about him as a shooter. Seven on the shot clock. Got to worry about this guy. Holmes. In and out, and somehow knocked in by a shooting. Oshun Oshuni has scored the last nine Cyclone points. Johnson left alone mm. off the window. That's a Debo move right there. Somebody's got to take up the challenge of Oshuni. And Chris, I don't know if this will equate to a win for Kansas State, but they're the first team in the Big 12 to score more than 70 points against this Cyclones defense. Grill. Tapped out of bounds. And James Breeding's right there. It's going to stay Iowa State basketball. You know, again, they're, they're, they're pre-switching to get Tomlin on Oshuni. -E. Tomlin's got to fight him, though. Shot goes up. Nobody's fighting Oshuni -E on the glass. And now a defense for offense substitution as the big man, Bebe Egiola. Here's Oshuni. Kalsher. Got it! How many big shots has he hit this year? 19 for Kalsher. Four point Iowa State lead. And Jerome, he's got 19 tonight against the fifth rated Cats.
Naquan Tomlin will inbound the ball under their own basket. 18 on the shot clock, 33.3 to go in the game. Bounce pass, nice. Johnson got it. Nicely done. That big body man carves his space, and they love that under out of bounds where he could just kind of duck in off of that crossing action. 15 and 10 for Keontae Johnson. And TJ Otzelberger calls his final timeout. And for what it's worth, Kansas State first in the conference in free throw percentage. Iowa State, 10. But it's Cyclones ball and a two-point lead. Man, and that's... immediately they foul Oshun Oshuni. I don't know if that was the design, throwing it into him. So Shuni steps to the line, seven for nine from the free throw line tonight. Around and out. The crowd collectively holding their breath. Jeff Van Gundy can't take it. No timeouts for Kansas State, so this thing's coming quick. Three-point lead for Iowa State. Shot clock is off, 20 seconds to go. Noel tries for two, comes up short. Lipsy's got it. And Grill gets fouled by Masood. I like the decision by Noel. You got plenty of time in this game. I love trying to extend it. You know so that the clock did the start after Oshuni E's second free throw. They lost three tenths, so we had to do all of that for three tenths of a second. So instead of 10.9, there is 11.2 remaining. And Grill hits the first. Two possession ball game now. Does Kansas State go for a three right away? I don't think you need to if yeah. you've got Noel. Like, drive the ball. Get the ball downhill, but you got to go fast. Now you Eight do. Eight seconds. Bad. A foul behind Man. the three-point line. Man. The one thing that Iowa State didn't want to do. And that's the fourth foul on Caleb Grill, who just moments ago had knocked down two potentially game-sealing free throws. You know, sometimes players will just make you scratch your head. I mean, there's nothing. If you're TJ Otzelberger, what can you do? So Noel at the free throw line, 88% on the season, and it's true there. And he's, I, I would miss this second one. But he's got three free throws coming, so if he makes this one, or the, the, he would the, miss the third. Yes. I mean, All right, so he's two for two, Chris Patola. Is there an art to missing a free throw on purpose? I don't think so, although... <laughs> I mean, there is. It, it, there's, you know, there are teams that will practice it, but... Again, here, the, the key is the inbounds passer. And you got to catch this thing strong. Caleb Grill was a quarterback in high school in Mays, Kansas. He didn't need a touchdown pass there. He got it inbounds on a little shovel pass to Jaron Holmes. Yeah. And Holmes will go to the line and try and salt this one away. And that's why I, I would it there just wasn't enough time, Rich. Like, you, you know, again, you're kind of in that window of do you miss on purpose or not. There's just not enough time left in this game. And if you, you know, you've got Tomlin, if you get 
you know, maybe Egiola back in the game. You got a length, length around the rim. Iowa State up two. And Holmes makes the first. So the most Kansas State can do is send this game to overtime, but they would need a Jaron Holmes miss at the stripe for that to happen. If he makes this one, it's academic. It's up, and it's good. And number 12, Iowa State has taken down number five, Kansas State. Don't call it an upset.